The Unibor glueless system has a unique double locking mechanism. The advantages are tighter seams than most glueless laminate flooring systems. The flooring may be installed with or without glue. Consult the packaging for applications. Before beginning installation, remember that regular laminate flooring requires the installation of foam underlay. Consult the packaging for information on preparing the underlay and any other information that is not in this video. If you are using laminate flooring with a pre-attached foam underlay, no other underlay is needed. But no matter what type of laminate flooring you're using, a vapor barrier is always required when installing over a concrete surface. Installing the first row. Insert the end tongue of the plank in the end groove of the previous plank at a 45 degree angle. Lower the plank onto the base floor. Installing the second row and all other rows. Insert the plank at a 45 degree angle. Shimmy up and down until the plank locks into place and lies flat on the base floor. Insert the end tongue of the plank in the end of the plank at a 45 degree angle. Slide the plank toward the previous row and lower onto the base floor. Slightly lift the row to allow the tongue to be perfectly inserted in the groove of the previous row. Shimmy up and down until the plank locks into place and lies flat on the base floor. The following are important tips to remember when installing uniboard laminate flooring. After you have installed three or four rows, it is easier to install the remainder of the flooring by working your way back from the wall. Before installing your laminate flooring, Remove the plastic wrapping and let the packaged floor planks remain flat for at least 48 hours. Always leave an expansion gap around the perimeter of the room as well as against all fixed objects. The minimum required gap for rooms of less than 25 feet is 3 eighths of an inch to 5 eighths of an inch. The minimum required gap for rooms larger than 25 feet is 5 eighths of an inch. Longer or wider than 33 feet will require a T-molding. When installing the product, there are gaps between the boards. There are three possible solutions. First solution, Check the tongue and groove for manufacturing debris. Second solution. Lock into place by using manual pressure.
third solution. Make certain the planks of the first row are perfectly aligned. When lifting the planks, they come apart. Solution 1. Remember that the planks always come apart if you lift them too high. Solution 2. Place a first plank at the beginning of a new row before you finish the current row. This creates a counterweight at the other end of the row you are assembling. This keeps the planks from lifting too high when you are handling them and prevents them from coming apart. You cannot place a plank because of a door molding. Here is the solution. Clear the space by cutting the door molding with a saw. You will thus free up the room you need to maneuver. Using a knife, remove the part that allows the planks to lock. Apply glue to the groove so that the planks stick together solidly, even without the locking mechanism. You can now slide the plank flat without having to lift it. Lastly, for a perfect job, wipe off the excess glue. Practice this method before you install your flooring. And remember, practice makes perfect.